Hello everybody, welcome back to Bad Trading Cards. <laughs> I'm so happy that people are pulling those legendaries, Majestics, and Fabled. And um, Jomil M told me that there's one person who pulled out two libraries. OMG. Two libraries in one box. Oh my goodness, I will be running around the house screaming <laughs> if I pulled that out okay well that is a good um very good uh, roi for that guy so that's he's lucky you know so on this events that is happening from april 30 until now so what is the effect of uh, the events on the price of the sealed boxes okay that is the welcome to wraith arc CRU, Monarch, and Ira. Okay? And to Patreons, I have a good news for you because I added one more. <laughs> I can show it to you right now. So let me change this screen. There you go. Boom. So you can see the Patreons. Uh, I'm excited to tell you that Monarch Blitz decks are included in this price charts. Okay? The market trend. And this will, this will be a sealed box of eight decks inside there. It's a sealed one. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to check that out later. But uh, for those who are new here, I also have slides um, that I uh, used for my videos in my channel. So you can see here, these are all the slides. You can go through with it. See that? You can click on it and find out. See? So these are all the slides that I used and also you can go to the comparison between IRA 2018 and 2020. You can check that this out. You can print it actually. All right. There's a timeline there. You can print that. And then uh, Ben Trading Cards YouTube channel. This is our oh, my channel, uh, my videos. All right. So I have to read this guys because they're very important. Ben Trading Cards is in no way affiliated with Legend Story Studios. Legend Story Studios, Flesh and Blood, and set names are trademarks of Legend Story Studios. Flesh and Blood, characters, cards, logos, and art are property of Legend Story Studios. Okay, that is not mine. All right. So, that's clear. <laughs> so, okay. Let's start with the Welcome to Wraith. So, what is the effect of the price of this um, events that was happening? Uh, that happened on April 30 until now. So welcome to Wraith. You can click here or click here on the navig navigation bar. Okay, let's click on that. And you can see here that, oh, by the way, uh, you can see the description right here. There, there you go. Um, and then this is the graph. Okay, so we started on April 30. And unfortunately, there is no data for welcome to race. That means there's no sold items to, uh, after the April 26. Well, this is this uh, data was taken from the eBay sold items. Sold, okay? Sold uh, because it's the best um, data that you can you can get because this is the actual purchase of of the box. All right. But there's no more data. I can't get any. Um, so that means there's no one buying right now. Anyway, we can go to Arcane Rising. And let's see what happened in Arcane Rising. So May 1 and April 28. So this is the start of the pre-release, guys. Okay, April 30. And the price is stable. Oh, wow. Very nice. That is good because um, I don't want to see this spike right here because it's like from, you can see that this is 2200 and it spiked to 3000. So that is not good for, um, you know, players and collectors as well because you don't have any chance to buy more of the boxes, right? And then it it skyrocketed there until 4,250. It's doubled, right? Um, at least this one here is a bit fluctuating, but it's not that bad. Okay, so it's stable. Now, let's go to Crucible of War. 
Now, Crucible of War is almost similar to the Arcane Rising, but this one is a bit of fluctuating a lot. Here, this uh, 1600 is the highest price, and the lowest price is a thousand. Someone bought it at a thousand dollars, US dollars. And this is a very lucky guy. Oh my goodness. Um, the highest is 16, uh, 1600. And that is May 9. So it started on April 30 right here. April 30 and then it it's fluctuating downwards. <laughs> it's fluctuating but just going down. Um, yeah, and then it's recovering right here. 1350. Um, let's see in the next few weeks what happens to this. And um, because people are busy, right? <laughs> busy doing the Monarch opening and, well, they're not focusing on the other things like Crucible of War. So this is what happens. Now, Monarch, this is what we need <laughs> right now, right? Look at that. <laughs> There's a lot of fluctuation. So that means it looks weird guys see that the, the the chart it looks weird because there's like a spike downwards here there's line you know for those who are new this means that on a certain day there are different transactions going on so one bought it at 425 on the same day and then the other uh, bought it at 650 us dollars so this is what it means okay then it we start we will start on april 30 there april 30 is that's 598 then someone bought it at the lowest price is 416.99 so let's go and zoom it out all right let's zoom it out so that will be on may um april april 30 let me see there you go april 30 oh sorry guys um april 30 okay click on there so this is the zoomed zoomed uh chart april 30 and then it went to 600 see that and the trend is going down right now 425 um us dollars look at that so the cheapest now so if you can see cheaper than that like 400 well that's a best opportunity for us to buy all right now let's go to let's put that back there oh let's click on it there and ira deck oh what happened in ira deck look at that there's a spike right here when rudy announce something and then it's people are buying it and now it's going stable and that means guys the price of ira in the market has been judged <laughs> by the market so the price is at 50. take note this deck is free free on 2019 all right Free means zero. <laughs> people are uh, LGS are giving it to people, you know. So, and now it's fifty. So if you have ten of these, <laughs> yeah, well, you ha you have a five hundred if you sell it, right? So the price is good. Look at that. See, wow. And well, if you still have money to buy after the modern, <laughs> then I. I suggest well just a suggestion okay don't listen to me just as a suggestion that you can buy uh ira when it's cheap <laughs> okay all right so let's go to monarch blitz deck which is the eight hero decks then um you can see the graph right here i have eight data points okay so the first data point that i got is the one that i bought it on april 3 which is $89.97. That is US dollars. So the equivalent of that is $109.95 around there. Um, in, in the gaming store, uh, game store that I bought from here. So I bought it at $109, which is $90. See that? And the next data that I put in here is the eBay sold items. This is my personal experience here. 
okay and the second one is the eBay sold items look at that 215 now someone bought it at 198 and the lowest right here is 121 this is May 6 so on April 29 right there the price is 223 in spite of um, flesh or legend story studios um, article that they are going to print more okay I'm not sure look at that um, yeah it's quite surprising because people are buying still buying it you see that it's 223 then 134 see that so if it's uh, reprinted on the mid-year of this year I'm not sure why people are still buying it at this price 121 this is US dollars okay remember that 282 and the highest now is 282 which is May 8 OMG um, I don't know maybe they just haven't uh, visited the fabtcg.com news that this will be reprinted all right and let's see in the next few weeks what will be the effect again for this ones because it w they said there will be a release on a um, May 14th then there will be a second wave on uh, about maybe June or July around there so let's see what happens and this is a good uh, way to, to monitor it okay for those of uh, of you who wants to monitor this you can join my patreon um, you can join my patreon subscription all right so that is the effect of the whole event that was happening uh, for the few days okay now why is it that monarch is behaving this way the market is behaving this way because this is what happens guys when people are focusing on a certain like modern okay so they are you know by their they're spending their money on those expansion set then they don't have enough money to buy the other expansion sets that's why you can see the crucible of war it's stable no one is buying it at a higher price because you know the buying power is low because they have already exhausted their budget and it's all over monarch and when the re pre-release was happening april 29 and when the release on may uh what's that may 7 there you go here when the boxes were released by the lgs to the customers then those um, what you call scalpers or flippers they receive their boxes and then they flip it on eBay and there are a lot of supply going into eBay and well the law of supply and demand more supply the price is low right so when so much supply this is what happened look at that see May 7 then 6 uh, 8 and then it went down so the prices now are going down there are some bidding going on but the bidding will only goes up to a 500 I, I've seen some bidding on eBay yeah it's around 500 and remember the price on the pre-release was 739 is the highest and then around 600 right well that's how the expansion set behaves by by this graph right I can see it I I this is what I've observed all right so that's it guys thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned from me today so the summary is way to rate is there's none uh, no activity and then arc and rising crucible of war are stable and monarch is dipping a bit then Ira is a bit stable you know and then monarch blitz decks are going up okay because there's low supply in the market and people are selling it high okay so that's it i hope you learned something from me today and if you have some questions go to ben trading cards at gmail.com and um yeah thank you very much and please like there click on the like button there and then subscribe right here okay thank you very much and see you on the next video bye bye